Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. So in this lesson we're going to add some target lines on to these charts. So to do that I'm going to click on here and I'm going to go to the analytics and we've added a trend line and we're just going to use an, another one in here which is going to be a constant line. And we're going to add that in and in here we can add a value and the value for this is zero so we'll leave that as it is and we can format that so I think I'll make a slightly darker line than the one we've got yep just to differentiate between the two of them a dashed line is fine the position in front is fine and we're going to add a data label now this data label can be constructed of a couple of things but let's change the colour first of all use that sort of grey colour. Now in the text you can have either the value that you've already added above here in this box here which is currently zero as we can see there. The other thing you can have is the name which is just going to be this name here so we actually need to call that target yeah, we'll just leave it at target. Uh, or you can have what I like is both the name and the value. And we can see here target equals zero. Okay, so you can see clearly we've got a target there. It just lets you see the difference between where we are just now and the actual target visually. Um, there's a few other bits you can do. You can sort of use the placement to have it at the right or the left. It might actually be a bit better there. Actually, I think it's it's probably better there because here's the compa the comparison here. Here's the target. It's always going to be the current week, so yeah, it's probably better sitting at that side. Um, I'm just looking to see if you can actually change the size and the weight, the l the line. It doesn't look like it. Um, just just a type solid dotted. Okay, we'll just leave it to that. That's fine. So we can now go and do it for this one. Add a constant line. And we'll just call that target. And that one there is going to be 550. Uh, no, it's not. It's 150. 150. Excuse me. Why is that showing zero? Here we go. Again, we'll keep the colours the same. Uh, dot dot data label is going to be on uh, the color is going to be the, this color here I think it was we chose maybe it was a slightly darker one was it okay might become but we need to go back and just make sure they're all aligned and then we're going to put it to the right now this one here a little bit awkward. We've got it on the um, vertical position above or under, so we'll put it under. Um, yeah, so we can actually see the value there. But if it does happen to get a bit closer to it, uh, no, I think that should be okay. But if, well, if it goes underneath and heads under here, it's going to obscure it. So we've just got to kind of keep an eye on that. The auto position doesn't really work particularly well and doesn't work at all actually in here. Um, so that, that's not so good. However, yep, we've got the target here, target 150. And then we'll just finally do it for this last couple here. Just get them done. And that's going to be target. Follow your name. Okay, 550 up here. See that's above it, it looks okay. A little bit cramped up there, but we can see, you know, there's quite a bit of information getting displayed here, but um, we can see it looks okay. And then the next one is just this final one here, yeah. So let's add that on. This one is going to be 700. Again, it's um, it's going to be a little bit awkward there. The target's really close, so we just need to um, put it maybe to the left. Yeah, it's a bit too close to that there. 
um, which is unfortunate, but never mind. So yeah, it's 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 got its it's got its pros and cons here. Um, that would mean you would need to kind of keep an eye on this and change it, which isn't ideal. So um, yeah, use with a little bit of um, a little bit of caution. I do like to see that target on there, and um, it's it's in such an easy way to add it in. But the 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 kind of the formatting allows it to overlap existing values, which is not ideal. So anyway, that is us now. We've added in our risk trend dashboard. And in the next session, our next lesson, we will just go through a summary of what we've done so far. I'll talk to you then.